So here it is, you guys. Here's what I want you to think about. And let's start this with what we're dealing with. When a fish wants to eat, or doesn't want to eat, he's reacting to the conditions that Mother Nature is putting out. So every day you guys go to the water, it's going to be relative to what's happening that moment. Not what happened yesterday, not this time last year on the lake, right now. The fish are going to make adjustments. What do they adjust to? They adjust to what Mother Nature is doing pretty obvious she's messing with us right now that's why we're not out there so you have to consider cloudy or clear why does that affect the fish's feeding behavior on cloudy days you guys consider the color of the fly you're using you ever consider what color they see on a cloudy day versus a clear day it's different dark day dark fly that's the rule why it's just, Do you know what? I think it's just more, it's not the, it's not so much the color, it's just the silhouette. That's right. They'll see a darker object easier on dark days. Or if the water's off color, they'll see a darker fly easier. So if that's true, why don't we put flash and and all those tinsel stuff on our flies? We like it. Attract. That's the right answer, Jay. I put it on for you guys. <laughs> I make it pretty. I, I do. There's only one thing that I do for me. And doing it for me, I do it for you, because that's what goes on the clock. I've learned, you guys, you guys know that there, you hear it all the time. There's something new on the market. It's not new anymore. It's been out for five, six, seven years. I don't know. UV? Yeah. How much do you know about UV? How much do you know its impact on what trout see? We're still learning, guys. We really don't know. And all the people that are so-called scientists or engineers that are doing the research, half of them don't even fish. <laughs> you guys stop and take a look at when you take a box, if you're in a store and you want a certain fly line, the guy hands you whatever it is, and he says, see, this is what you wanted. You wanted a fast sinking, it says fast sinking, it tells you how fast it goes down. You guys believe all that. Take the scenario on a lake, there's a guy over here and he's struggling. And you're struggling. How long are you going to put up with the struggle? If you're casting, you're starting the day, and you're retrieving, and nothing's happening, and you do this enough and nothing happens, you don't get a return, you're going to bring the fly in, you're going to look at it and say, well, we're not eating this. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> and what do you do? You get your fly box out and you look for either a different color or size of the same fly or you look for a totally different fly. Everybody does this. Everybody. You're just part of the 100% of all the people that face the think this way. Because it's the way I thought that way. Not anymore, but I used to. Because I've learned some things. It's not the fly. It could be something else. So when you guys, I'm going to cut to the chase here real quick and tell you something that's really, really critical. And then I'm going to get into the specifics of this. But as you, as you make that cast and you bring that fly back and nothing happens and you're looking at your fly thinking you're going to change it, when you say whether well, or not eating this in your mind, what have you just committed to? You're assuming that the fish saw your fly and said nothing. How do you know he was there? You don't. But you're going to change flies because you assume he saw it and said no. That's why we change them. If there was no fish there, why would you change the fly? You haven't given him a fair chance, right? Okay? Here's Greg over here just killing him. And Jay's over here looking at him. And Greg doesn't want to tell him what he's using. But Jay moves over a little closer. He says, okay, what do you got on there? And because everybody buddy, he says, I'm using. And when I, you guys, this is so funny for me. When I hear someone say to somebody else, because he's really having a good day, what are you using? I stop what I'm doing and I watch. And look at everybody. You know what everybody's doing? <laughs> yeah. They're waiting to hear what he's using. So if the guy says, I'm using an olive bleach, and I'm watching her, you know what everybody does then? Turn yeah, their fly box. box. <laughs> watch out and look for an olive bleach because that's what the fish are eating, right? That is synonymous with matching the hatch. So when we think about what they're taking, you guys, you got to have the right fly, right? I'll tell you how I've adjusted my presentation 
what I use, where I use it, when I use it, and when I change. And the flies, it's not the fly, you guys, it's you. It's what you do with the fly. So what did you do today? Dick, you went out there and you were going along the edge of that dam, casting that flat water. You think those fish didn't see that fly? Oh, I think they did, yeah. Absolutely. They had to. They did. Yeah, yeah had But to. they didn't need it. No. So why? What was wrong? I did the same thing you did for a short ways. Well, you said, or what you were just telling me, is that they were, that they were eating a different kind of fly. No, no I mean, I didn't say I, that. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say that all day. <laughs> well, don't be for sure. No, you said that they were I saw spotting you said that they were spotting you. They're not eating. For the most part. Is but, that right? They really yeah. calmed down, no? No, it's not that, you guys. There's another thing that happens. See, the conditions that we fish under are constantly changing. And I'll tell you what's weird about this year, because I haven't seen this before. And I've been doing this year in and year out on this lake. I've been fishing this thing for close to 25 years now. And I've never seen the situations that I've seen this year. But it's not just here. Before I got here, I fished Crittenton. After Crittenton, I made a stop here, only to turn around because of corn ass rain. I wasn't coming up here that. And I went to Monster, and I saw the same thing at Monster. Then I get down here and I see the same thing here. Everything is late this year. Mm -hmm. At least three weeks late. Wow. What does that mean? 